Hey guys, Steve here at Pope and Ponics, and we're here over at Organic Innovations Farm. They have a big DWC setup, as you can see here. Just filling out here for the springtime. And uh, in the springtime, people often get aphids in their greenhouse, be it lettuce or cannabis, doesn't matter. So one of the great ways to kind of fend that off so you don't have that problem before you even start to get it is to release something like Aphidilis colmeni in here in order to um, uh, prevent uh, any aphids that do find their way in from establishing themselves and, and really feeding on the plants much. So if you're looking for uh, a great option for eliminating aphids, this is a great option uh, for doing so. Uh, we get ours from Arbico. Um, Aphidilis comeni or Aphidilis ervii, the uh, E-R-V-I, ervii, uh, is another great one. And just a little wasp in here, I'll gonna, we're going to open it up and we're going to show you what it's like to release them. So you can see here, little itty bitty wasps. I'm going to put that down on the raft here. Oh, tried not getting in the way. Got him in my dreads. We got, we got, call me in the dreads. All right. Should have had those tied up anyway. There you go. Here's all your little aphids. No, not aphids. I'm sorry. Aphid killing wasps. All your aphid killing wasps. As you can see, they do not sting. We're just going to sprinkle them around here and there in the grow. And again, we haven't had any problems, but in order to ensure that we keep it that way, we're going to just sprinkle a few around here. And they're taken off too. You can see them flying off the top here. They can fly. And they can smell the, the smell and the hormones and the pheromones from the aphids and, and help track them down. And they're not very expensive either. And I'll treat this whole greenhouse. I don't remember what it was, but I'll see if I can put it in the description there. You know, a little extra blower. We're experimenting with some light depth airflow um, that we might try later in the year. But for now, we're just doing veggies. These ones are some plants that are a little bit beat up that we bought uh, as clones that are coming back real nicely. We have some more, some more plants over here. These guys just went into the beds. Some clones over here. Empty ones where we planted out last week. Get those refilled. Whoop! A little extra sprinkle. We have some more plants here. They're putting some hyperaspis miles on there or sturdy lap skimitus, depending on which book you're reading. Again, all part of our, our integrated pest management program, using lots of different types of beneficial insects uh, in our pest management uh, regimen. This way we have an army ready to greet any pests that thinks it's a wise idea to come in here. Uh, they are, are happily greeted with people that love to feed on them, uh, which is a much easier way than trying to play catch up with sprays. Here's the rest of the systems here. You can see we have some quite large uh, MBBR, and we have some quite large tilapia. To give you an idea of my hand, the size of that. That fish is enormous so. anyways back to back to releasing wasps nice banana plant we have some lettuce over here a little sprinkle on the lettuce just to make sure they don't get any aphids either a little basil So, I'm going to 
make sure we just get a good coverage. Those other plants that you guys can see farther back are they're all going outside soon, so I'm not worried about those. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. There you go. They were in here. Yeah, it's the, the little thing they feed on. Oh. When they're shipping. Alright, so we're going to sit this one here. There's quite a few plants around. We're just going to sit this on the soil here. And let those guys crawl out and fly out. And we'll come back and pick that up tomorrow. There's some more, more of our sump tanks. We'll back down to here. Finishing getting everything replanted, potted back up. All right, well, hope you enjoyed that. And that's one of the great ways you can do with uh, aphids. We're gonna do a whole series on dealing with aphids with different predators and, and things. So uh, if you enjoyed that, you like aquaponics, uh, come back soon and we'll have more coverage. There's other videos as well. We're dealing with other pest issues and, and other how-tos. So thanks a lot for watching, take care.